Hello, this is the second tutorial on how to use the MatchBot matching tool from BorgWarner. Uh, in the first tutorial, we went through the uh, entering of the input conditions um, that describes the engine and the engine operating points. Uh, we went through the calculated outputs, at least the first half of the numerical outputs. Uh, what we didn't do yet is uh, talk about the turbine matching uh, process or the turbine match outputs. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Uh, on each of these um, views you can expand or collapse the view. Um, so expanding the compressor match um, tab gives you this uh, plot and uh, what's shown here is a 70 millimeter OD uh, compressor wheel it says a 52.2 uh, millimeter inducer so you can see for this uh, 2 liter uh, match running up to 17 psi boost pressure the uh, operation is plotted here on this uh, 70 millimeter OD map uh, so this is pretty straightforward uh, the, here are the operating points 1 through 6 uh, plotted on this map and uh, you can select uh, differing maps and uh, there it goes um, the points will remain uh, plotted uh, plotted correctly on each uh, map that's chosen so on this example um, you know the, the points are still uh, within the map but uh, approaching choke so maybe not such a good choice for this rated power condition but uh, at the low end be very nice that's a 62 millimeter OD map uh, let's go up to a 76 millimeter uh, map well. There it goes. Just took a moment to uh, load there. Um, so 76 millimeter uh, on these points. Um, you can see that this uh, 2,000 RPM point, the first one, uh, is probably uh, going to surge. Um, this is a gray area. You know, it's not uh, necessarily binary in terms of uh, if you're over the line, it surges, or if you're inside the line, it doesn't. Uh, but this is probably too far uh, over the line. This point would probably surge at 2,000 RPM. You can see back here in the inputs, we were trying to achieve uh, 5 PSI boost pressure at 2,000 RPM. Um, probably not possible with 76 millimeters. But it's looking really nice uh, for rated power. Uh, this condition would make uh, more peak power because um, the efficiencies would improve. Uh, and then that has feedback on how much turbine drive pressure uh, is required. So let's go back to the 70 millimeter. Uh, that was the best fit uh, relative to being within the surge line uh, at the low end and uh, still having plenty of uh, uh, rated power capacity. So that's a view on how to choose the compressor map, uh, the one that is the best fit for the points. So let's shrink that. Um, this area down here shows the uh, turbine sizing selector. Um, so let's also shrink the uh, numerical outputs. And uh, by doing that, uh, we can get the turbine expansion ratio tuning um, in the same view as the turbine sizing uh, chart, which is important. Um, the reason why that's important is you have to um, click on these up down buttons for the turbine expansion ratio um, that moves the points uh, you can see uh, this point uh, moving as we click these buttons uh, what this is doing is it's increasing or decreasing the turbine drive pressure okay this turbine expansion ratio is uh, the ratio of turbine inlet pressure to turbine outlet pressure uh, in a, in a simpler way of thinking about it is it's the turbine drive pressure or exhaust manifold condition. So what we have to do is we have to tune uh, these points um, so that all six of them land on one curve. 
and uh, the reason for that is uh, being on one curve um, shows that the turbine uh, is flowing um, what the engine is requiring okay since this point right now point six is below the targeted curve uh, which for this group of points is this one since it's below the curve what that's saying is um, we are giving the turbine uh, more energy uh, than this turbine housing is going to permit. Okay, so anytime the points are below the targeted line, uh, you're cheating the match and you're overestimating how much boosting uh, capacity there is. Okay, so let me take point six back to the uh, target line. Uh, the reason why I keep saying target line is um, this happens to be the line the, the largest turbine at which we're still able to meet the uh, low end requirement. Okay, this is showing the calculated percentage of waste gating. And you can see that this is just barely uh, a positive number. If we try to go um, too far, it says NA. Uh, that means that it's an invalid match. And in fact, the point disappears from the plotting. So you have to bring it back uh, to a positive number, a number that is greater than zero, in order for it to be a valid match. Uh, why is that? Well, we're trying to have a turbine that is sufficiently small enough to meet uh, the boost target uh, curve. So uh, let's play with this a little more. We're aiming for 5 psi at 2,000 RPM. Um, if we change this point to uh, something like 3 psi, the match is now easier to achieve. Okay, It's now showing uh, a 37 percent wastegate flow fraction instead of a 2 percent wastegate flow fraction. Well why is that? It's a lot easier to make 3 psi at 2000 rpm than it is 5 psi at 2000 rpm in this case. So what does that allow us uh, to do? We can um, we can open this point back up. You can see we're going for a bigger and bigger turbine stage, and now uh, we've readjusted uh, that point so that it is barely uh, legitimate, uh, two p two percent uh, wastegate fraction positive uh, to reach three psi. That allowed us to move this point uh, to a higher curve. Okay. Again, it's easier to make 3 psi at 2,000 rpm than it is 5 psi at 2,000 rpm. And that condition uh, pegs um, where the rest of the points have to land. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but this point uh, is now on a higher curve. So we can now uh, match these other five points um, to that uh, higher flow rate. In other words, we could pick a larger uh, turbine wheel and a larger turbine housing and still meet uh, the boost curve, the boost uh, threshold being defined by this first operating condition. Uh, the opposite is uh, also true. If we want to make, um, let's say, uh, 7 pounds of boost at 2000 RPM, we can change that number. It uh, gives us uh, this warning again, uh, turbine match is not possible for point 0.1 that says please either either tune to a turbine expansion ratio of a higher number or lower the boost pressure requirement. What it's saying is you have to either pick a lower boost pressure or a smaller turbine. So we can then tune in uh, that point. See we continue to click the up arrow going to a higher expansion ratio until the match becomes uh, valid. Okay, it uh, just became valid, so 1.25, it has to be at least 1.25 expansion ratio to be a valid match for 7 psi at 2000 rpm. Now you can see this point is at a uh, lower flow. Alright, so point 1 has moved to a smaller turbine. It's now on this black line, and if you follow this black line over, it's uh, actually in between uh, two of our offerings. Let me go just a little smaller. Okay, now it's on uh, this offering, uh, 58 millimeter, 0.65 A over R. Actually, that's supposed to be 0.64 A over R. That was a typo in making this chart.
So now what we can do is uh, drive uh, the rest of these points down to that same curve because again for it to be valid uh, all the points have to be on uh, the same curve because there's only one turbine stage, right? If we're going to run a 58 millimeter turbine wheel in a 0.64 A over R, um, that's the hardware that we're going to use um, all the time. So you can see the process here. Uh, we are clicking the uh, tuning buttons to drive these points uh, down to that curve. And it takes a little bit. Got to click on them a little while. You can uh, type in a new number also. So let me try to shortcut this uh, process a bit by uh, type in a new number very easily while we click the buttons. So bear with me, I'll uh, continue. Okay, we've now tuned uh, down to this lower uh, flow condition. Um, this is an iterative process because uh, we're now, we, we've downsized the turbine so that we can make uh, seven pounds of boost pressure at 2,000 RPM uh, using this smaller turbine, but uh, it's 58 millimeters, and 58 millimeters with a 70 millimeter compressor um, isn't a very good pairing. That's uh, too much mismatch on wheel size. So uh, what we now need to do is uh, select a new compressor uh, to go with that. So I will uh, expand the uh, compressor plot and you can see that now we're now we're doing seven psi boost pressure we're no longer within the surge line on the seventy millimeter map anyway so let's pick something that can be paired with the fifty eight millimeter turbine uh... we can go uh... sixty seven millimeters um, still uh... not really within the map or we can go uh... sixty two millimeters and now this uh, might uh, barely work so this is uh... seven psi 2000 RPM um, 2 liter engine and uh, we're within this map uh, albeit barely right we're right on the surge line at 2000 RPM and we're approaching choke at uh, 7000 RPM so what we're seeing here is uh, it's a challenge to make um, 7 PSI at 2000 RPM and still uh, make lots of power at the top end which uh, matches uh, reality, right? Okay, so uh, that is the process of uh, tuning in uh, the turbine flow uh, to meet a certain uh, boost target. And then from that turbine flow, if a new wheel size is selected, uh, you can then explore uh, what compressor is uh, mateable with that turbine size. Okay, we'll dive in uh, to the numerical outputs again in the next segment.